President Biden has decided he's going to go after Republican governors, accusing them of trying to undermine his vaccine mandate, which will entail force businesses with more than 100 employees to require their own short-staffed people to get the shot or undergo weekly COVID testing, but also keep an eye at the door to make sure everybody coming through has a vax card. That's how it's rolling out in New York. We'll see if it spreads from here. The president claims Republicans are the issue, but a Quinnipiac poll finds 51% of Americans disapprove of his mandate. Some in the mainstream media are reporting and following President Biden's lead with this us versus them approach. Take a look. I think we have to stop coddling people when it comes to this and the vaccine saying, oh, you can't shame them. You can't call them stupid. You can't call them silly. Yes, they are. The people who aided and abetted Trump are stupid because they believed his big lie. The people who are not getting vaccines, who are believing the lies on the Internet instead of science, it's time to start shaming them. What else? Or leave them behind. Be because they are keeping the majority of Americans behind. You want to leave black and brown people behind, too, there, Don Lemon, because they also make up a healthy percentage of those people who have decided that right now they're going to remain unvaccinated. The hypocrisy here. My other favorite word starts with H, too. Anyway, <laughs> I'm not going to say that. <laughs> Morgan. Well, uh, so much to unpack here. My mind immediately went to it. I know you talked about it yesterday about Nicki Minaj and her tweets. And what was interesting is, like, Clearly, the tweets about the vaccine that she did were a mm -hmm. little ridiculous. But what was more telling was the reaction and, and the instinct um, from certain people on the left to shame no matter what, right, instead of trying to educate. Mm -hmm. But as you just said, Harris, it is all about hypocrisy. Where is the president, when he's criticizing Republican governors, why didn't the president criticize Obama's maskless birthday party or the Met Gala, where the elite were able to be unmasked, but not that. the staff? Right. Or the president's July 4th um, party uh, picnic that he had at the White House that I believe The Washington Post reported had at least several hundred people in attendance. So it's just another example of rules for thee, uh, but not for me. And clearly the president decided um, that this is a political fight that he wants to have. He wants to go after Republican governors, especially those who may want to challenge him in 2024. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Ben, this is such low hanging fruit, because if you make it all about politics and you go after Trump yeah. supporters, you don't have to then talk about those people who look like Don Lemon, Joy Reid, and myself. And look, I don't want to oversell it. It is what it is. We paid the highest price, 57% at one point, of, of the hospitalizations and deaths, people of color. Mm -hmm. And so we know that we were vulnerable to this disease. And rather than reach out and try and help, it's a further division in this country. And, yep. and you don't have to know how anybody votes to know that they have their own separate ideas about being vaccinated or not. You can reach them on an idea I, basis. They're intelligent. Well, look, th this is this is one of the biggest and I think one of the sickest political moves that I have seen in my lifetime. It's cruel. The Democratic Party and the White House understand they need a wedge issue right now yeah, to divide 100%. the country on purpose. And and let me remind Don Lemon, we're not anti-vax conservatives. We're the ones that came up with the damn vaccine. We're the ones that did yes. Operation wow. Warp Speed. Donald Trump is the one that moved this forward and you guys were on TV going, I'm not taking a Trump vaccine. So I'm sorry, I don't buy it there. But, but let's go back to this White House decision. They decided we have a disaster, a dumpster fire in Afghanistan with 10% of Americans left behind. We have a dumpster fire with the economy economy right now. How do we galvanize our base and make sure that mm. our poll numbers stop falling? And they said, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go out into America and we're going to divide based on politics on COVID-19 vaccine. And I tell people this, do not take their bait. Remember the Americans in Afghanistan. Remember what they're doing to our economy. I truly believe the Constitution is going to save us on this one. I believe states are going to win on this one. And this is a sick political move solely to sure up his base to say hate the Republicans they're you why go. you're dying and that is not the facts here so I am gonna go there because you used the H word I was talking about and, and I don't like to put terms like this there so it's hate yes Ugh. this is driven by hate it is hypocrisy yeah. and hate yeah why yeah, it's exactly what Ben said. I mean, we're having like a symbiotic moment, Ben, because that's exactly what I was thinking and was planning to say. He's right. They are using hate. They are using division to distract from all of the multiple crises in this country. 
So, so, so how, how can you legitimately say that you are the president of the total United States when 75 million people yeah. didn't vote for you and now you want to leverage some hate toward them and they're not, I mean, many of, of them are vaccinated. Yeah. I mean, what, yeah. What, where is this coming from? This is our great uniter in chief. He used the word unity more than a dozen times on inauguration day. And instead, he's the divider in chief. And Don Lemon, boy, he's probably auditioning to be a speechwriter for this administration <laughs> with that kind of mafia like language, which is underscored by Biden saying the vaccinated have a right to be angry. Cedric Richmond, I will run over those governors. He wants to fight with governors as he vacations, by the way. He's on a plane now to go on a beachside vacation. He wants to fight with governors to distract from everything going on. That's it. Emily. I just find it appalling that our commander in chief has his anger reserved for Americans. Mm -hmm. Remember, he called the Taliban merely challenging, but he said that we should condemn the unvaccinated. We have here Don Lemon calling unvaccinated stupid. Those are fellow Americans with legitimate questions. Well, as the we president talked about was yesterday. He said, oh, I thought you were smarter than, than we thought. No one's right. trying to reach these right. people. And, and they're not, we don't know how all of them vote. Right. What I was going to say was that it flows from the top. So, for example, the fact that the commander in chief invited a celebrity who had questions about the vaccine to come to the White House to engage with her, to share information with her. Absolutely, that's how that should happen. But instead, the rest of, the, of our 